Hey guys, Don here. Welcome to uh, yet another beer review. Cats are going crazy in the background with the uh, squeaky mouse. Very crazy, apparently. Nude. Hey. Well, anyways, we're going to try and get another new beer. One from a uh, brewery that I really, really enjoy on occasion. This time we are having Flying Monkeys The Matador version 2.0. Now, yeah, I oh, haven't been through the show yet. This way. Well, anyways, uh, brew fearlessly. Peppery brown with dark ox blood lights. The spicy, spicy citrusy body of El Toro Bravo can be enjoyed fresh or solid for up to two years. A stout, stout hunter El Toro Bravo is perfect for aging. The dauntless grace of the noble Helitower hop and the complexity of wood flares only grow more dignified with time. Flying Monkeys, normal is weird. They are pretty weird brewery and honestly, yeah, most of everything happened was pretty awesome. Uh, Imperial Dark Royal aged on Spanish cedar, 10.1%. 10, 10 750 mil. So, I don't know how this one is in the bottom, but we'll give it a little, uh, give it a little spin. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to crack with the BB butterfly. And yes, I do throw shameless plugs in some knives or something I really like, and these guys are awesome. Let's give her an open. Yeah, totally save the cat, that's awesome. So, uh, this one, uh, I know a lot of people had it last, the last, uh, last time it was, I wasn't hearing it was, but this is the, uh, like I said, 2.0 version, the next version. And this is the first time we've had it in New Brunswick. And there's something on my glass. Anyways. So always something on my glass, huh? It's bad luck, I guess. Look at the pour. I'm gonna give it a little more aggressive pour, I guess. See what kind of uh, head we can. Uh, uh, maybe shouldn't have done that. Anyways, uh, wow. It honestly has one of the nicest colors I've seen in a beer, really. Ruby, red, pink, uh, and yellow. Yeah, that's really, really nice. It's the color is just uh, coming right through it. That's really nice. You can, yeah, see where you, yeah, that's a really nice looking bear. Off white toffee, toffee head going on there. Lots of carbonation. Lots of carbonation. Let's go to the smell. Oh, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's got that barley wine smell going on, which I like, but I don't like the usual barley wine, what comes after the taste and all that, and <sighs> anyway, this is a really, really amazing looking beer. It's one of the probably, like I said, like I said, the cats are going crazy. But this is probably one of the nicest colored beards, colored beers I've ever seen. Colored beers that. Sorry, voice is going. Not that it's anything uh, 
unusual for me, I guess. Yeah. Okay, now the toffee's coming through. Really nice, uh, caramel, kind of a sweet, um, like a sweet, sweet fruit smell coming through. Almost like a rich chocolate, more of a, kind of a cross between a milk, milk chocolate and a, uh, a little bit of dark chocolate in there. Anyways. Let's get it. Let's give it a go. I've heard bad things. I've good, heard good things about it. So, hmm. Initial taste, I'm getting a lot of uh, like a sherry kind of a sweet fruit kind of thing going on, but it fades out quick, real quick. Then you're left with a yeah, real nice. Uh, Almost a chocolatey kind of a. I don't know, hold on. <clears throat> Little, like I said, initial taste. Let's come off a little boozy. Well, this 10.1%. Not sure why they put the 10.1% on in there, but with a 10 with a point one, but I suppose that is what you know. Uh, has a really really nice fade out. Sticky tongue, sticky lips. The fade out is real nice. But I'm not sure I can get over that based on the the initial, uh, you know, the stuff I don't like. <laughs> so there's yeah, the bouginess, there's a little, uh, little of barley wine kind of a initial taste. But it does, it does fade out nice. <laughs> Yeah, and a little burp, you know, there, and it comes a little Belgian kind of a sweetness going on there. Booziness, sugariness, but. No, I'm getting a little bit of the woodiness, the woodiness, I guess the cedarness. Cedarness, I don't think that's a word, but anyway, the cedar that's in it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of the uh, cedar taste, uh, like on my lips and on the tongue. Which is kind of nice, actually, I kind of enjoy that. But there's the initial, uh, initial stuff that I don't like. So this is a kind of a hard beer to read because there's no, uh, I'm not finding any real middle ground with it. There's, it's here, then it's here, then it's kind of, you know, it's all the same. I mean, I shouldn't say, <clears throat> it's not all the same, but 
I mean, what I like and I don't like is kind of here, I guess. And it's not higher or lower, I guess, whatever. <laughs> I digress, but... Yeah, the initial taste, the initial what it is, is I don't like. It's not good. But it does have a really nice fade. Uh, as soon as you hit the middle of the tongue, it starts fading out towards the back of the throat. And you start getting the uh, woody uh, cedarness right on, your, uh, right on your lips and your tongue. That's nice. That is really nice, actually. It's kind of something I haven't had before. Or, yeah, it's interesting. But, all in all, it's kind of a, it's a two-sided beer. I guess you have the initial taste, then you have the end taste. The end taste is the best. I mean, it's really nice, but the initial is not something I'd want to drink again, honestly. Because it's just not something I'm into. Not something I'd ever want to honestly have again. But, you know, there's all kinds of butts here and there. right? But it's one of those beers, like I said. Here, here. The end is good. The start is not. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking 2.75. I'll pass it. Just because I like the uh, back end of it so much. The back end is really nice because you get a nice, uh, you get the nice cedar, like the nice woodsy kind of thing going on. But the start is no good. I don't like that. But anyways, guys, uh, the ridiculous beer, uh, beer reviews from Don are, you know, up and down and ridiculous, so. I'll pour a little bit in there, and uh, Mrs. Don is going to get some, probably the rest of the bottle. Anyways, guys, uh, cheers, 2.75. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's about it. I mean, I might, yeah, 2.75, I, yeah, I can't do it anymore. Anyways, guys, cheers. Uh, keep watching. Hopefully, I can up upload some more videos here in the next uh, little bit. And hopefully you will see this within uh, six or seven months. <laughs> Anyways, guys, cheers.